Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at OwnCloud and we're going to take a look more specifically at the iOS application that is out for OwnCloud. Now again, this is a part of a series that I've been doing on OwnCloud for the Mac, and so if you're just catching up right now, you may want to go back and take a look at the other screencasts in this series so that you can get an idea of how to set up your own OwnCloud server. Uh, but what I'm going to do this time is show you how to connect to the server that you've already set up. So this is OwnCloud. Again, it's a free application. I'm going to go ahead and just open it, open it for the first time here. And so you see on my phone, it's taken me to the welcome screen. And so I can swipe to learn more. And so if I just swipe across, what it does is it gives me a little bit of a tour of OwnCloud. You see, I can do instant uploads so I can keep my photos safe. I can manage all my files in here. I can delete and move them. I can also share my files and folders with other people. So it is a sharing service. And I can connect uh, to all of my iClouds uh, or iCloud accounts with multiple account support as well. And then my private files can be synced anywhere. And so let's go ahead and uh, tap on login. And so this is going to ask me now for the server address. So let me just go ahead and put that in there for a minute. Okay, now that information is in there, I just tap on connect and it's going to test my connection here and connect to OwnCloud. Uh, it's letting me know that it's a non-secure connection because I'm just using it on my local network and I'll be using VPN to get access to it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is put my username and password in there. So let me go ahead and type that information in. Okay, now that I've got that information in there, I'm just going to tap on connect so that it will connect me to the OwnCloud server. And there I am. And you can see that I've got access to everything on my own cloud server there. You can see all of the files uh, just as they were in my previous screencasts. I can go ahead and tap into these files and it will pull them up for me. And so again, this is pulling it uh, right there. Uh, there's the photo that I had before. And you can see down below I've got numerous options. I can use a share sheet, I can download it, and I can also share it or delete it right down there in the bottom toolbar. Let me just tap back so I can come back into the main screen here. Now, that's the files area. You'll also notice if I just tap the next icon down below, these are my uploads. So if I choose to upload something, they will all show here. If I tap the next one, these are my public links. So if I set up any files or folders with public links, they'd show here. And then I've got my settings in here. Now, what I can do is I can add multiple accounts there. You can see that I can add a new ac account. So if I've got multiple own cloud accounts, I can add them in here. I've also got Passlock and Face ID. So if I wanted to use the thumbprint or Face ID on my device, I could do that as well so that I could secure it. And I can do instant upload of photos and instant upload of videos. So this can become a nice way to back up your photos and videos from your iPhone uh, just by pushing them up to own cloud and having them on your own cloud server. And then of course we've got help, recommend a friend, and send feedback. I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the files area right here. Now you'll notice the little ellipses at the top right there. If I just tap on those, you see I have the option to upload a uh, photo or video, do a new folder, a new text file, or sort. And I can choose any of those things from here. And so that's how I would get things, let's say, into own cloud and uh, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to tap on cancel so that that goes away. So that is the own cloud application for iOS. And as you can see, it just gives me access to my own cloud server so that I've got everything right here. You'll notice too, up at the very top there, I've got this little green check mark next to that uh, JPEG. That just means that I have uh, downloaded that to my device and it is ready to uh, be worked on. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.